Hello and welcome to the first part of a series of videos I will be doing. Here is my first DIY guitar build, which I'm super excited about, clearly. Um, just arrived in the mail. It was uh, two-day shipping from uh, Albatross Guitars. Um, they have an Etsy store, which I'll put a link to in the description so you can check them out. Um, I got the Stratocaster, obviously. Let's uh, check out this... Check out this body. <laughs> um, solid mahogany and I've gone over it with a fine tooth comb there's not a damn thing wrong with it it's pretty except for this hole here it's kind of sketchy you see what I mean but I'm not going to split hairs because I don't think it matters because no one's going to see um, there's the front there's the back Just checking it's actually the grain on this is actually gorgeous. Um, I'm very surprised. I like the kind of dark grain edges I'm going to be seeing. Um, I'm going to be modifying this a little bit. I'm going to put like a monkey grip right here. Um, just like the Herman Lee signature Ibanez. Because I thought that was a great idea. I'm going to do it too. Okay, the neck. Now the website well, the Etsy store describes the fretboard as being maple. Um, that was a lie, but based on the pictures, I assumed it was going to be rosewood. Anyway, it was. Mahogany neck. Has a 77 in the pocket right there. To match the 77 right there. So you know it was made for this piece, which is wonderful. Um, I've gone over the neck also. There's nothing that I can complain about. It's pretty much, pretty much flawless actually. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. This kit, um, ran me, uh, $69.99, uh, with $20 shipping. Um, it's sent from, uh, Northern California. I'm in Southern California. That's why it took two days. Um, I'm excited to cut out the headstock. That's going to be awesome. Um, okay. So, comes with uh, the back split, which is whatever. Comes with uh, tuners, tuning heads for the neck. Obviously, if you don't know what they are, then you shouldn't be watching this. Um, they feel kind of cheap. It looks like the chrome could kind of um, flick off, but um, that's fine. I won't be using them anyway. The back plate, you know what that does. Now this I thought was super neat. They car compartmentalized all the parts. So here are your springs. I forget what this does. You've got your string guides and your strap box and all your other things. Ferrules, screws, everything you need. It's very handy. You have your jack, which again feels kind of cheap, but I don't think there's any way of having them feel really expensive. Uh, it's got a little bit of scuffing on it, which you can kind of make out, which is fine. Um, I'm actually going to be replacing all the parts with gold parts. Because um, I like it. <laughs> oh, it comes with a set of strings. Which I'm very excited about. Um, I did not know they were going to be in the package. Um, I don't know if they're 9s or 10s. I probably won't be using them. I'll be using them as spares, which is fine. Comes with the neck plate, obviously. And this is cool. I'm not sure if this is unique or if I just haven't paid attention, but it comes with like a little cushion, which I thought was super neat. Fits right in there. I guess it's to avoid damaging. And it's super shiny, so you can see me. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is super cool. I was not expecting. You get a cable in the bag and it also comes with your tremolo arm and two oh, tremolo, arm come out. tremolo arm and two allen wrenches also for the truss rod and for everything else cable is obviously not an expensive cable that is fine it is just nice to have seeing as I only have one cable but shh. Um, comes with the bridge a nice bit of cardboard in between. 
It's a vintage style, so if you're planning on um, doing this kit yourself, know that it's a vintage style tremolo. I was expecting that. Um, so use that information how you will. Last but not least, the pre-wired pit guard, which obviously goes in there. Volume, tone, and tone. Five-way switch. Um, from what I've heard, the pickups are not terrible. Considering all, I got all of this for under hundred. All of this for under a hundred dollars. Um, go back. It's standard affair. Pickup, pickup, pickup. Magnets. And pre-wired. All it has are these two wires. It's all pretty much done. You don't have to do anything. I might go over it with a fine tooth comb to make sure all the connections are fine, but by the looks of it, and unfortunately my camera won't really focus. There we go. Everything looks uh, good to go. So that's wonderful. Again, I don't I'm going to be switching all the parts anyway, so these are basically placeholders until I actually purchase all the parts. I should have done this to begin with, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's that is the first video of the series I'm going to be doing. Um, just for future reference, I'm going to be using wood tone um, stain to do the body and the neck and headstock as well. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, purple um, amaranthine, if that's how you say it, um, stain, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, of course I'm going to mask all the inside so it doesn't seep in, um, but this is all just theoretical at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll be doing that and then purple is my favorite color. And I figured gold would look wonderful with it, so that, that's why I'm probably not going to be using all of these. Um, but Oh yeah, let me throw all these in just to show how it looks. You've probably all seen Stratocasters in your life. This will not be a surprise to you. Let me take this bit of card out. Uh, yeah. No frills. It's basically what it was. The neck pocket, this is actually the first thing I checked. The neck pocket actually fits in pretty much perfectly. I mean, I can't like hold it in place, but um, I probably will not have to use any shims at all. Um, there's a tiny, tiny gap. My phone won't zoom in. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Tiny gap there, if you can see it. I don't really care, seeing as it's bolt-on, um, but I might have to put something in there just to help the sustain. But let me zoom out on oh, my bed. Of course, classy. There it is. Oh, I'm going lengthways. I apologize. But, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, this is part one of my build. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. Oh, I've got a part. The nut looks pretty sweet. Um, I have no complaints with that. That was one other thing I was worrying about. That the, the nut would be fairly terrible. Um, I'm probably going to keep this one in here because my luthier ship is not um, existent as of yet. So... I will leave that there. I, I don't think it'll be too difficult to glue a nut in. I just need to heat this one up, pull it out. Fresh glue. But anyway, I will stop rambling. Um, yep. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you in my next video.